So today I wanted to talk about just a couple things that really super duper annoy me in shows or movies, um, but in those things that really bother me. And they would not be the things you think because as an avid zombie fan, you would think there would be a lot of very clear ones, but oh no. They are not clear. Uh, also, I just wanted to mention before I get into it that if there is a show that you love watching, please comment, please, 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 please comment that down below because I do actually go through shows quite quickly and um, the only thing that's the one that the only one that's taking me like a really long time to get through is Grey's Anatomy, which I'm still like at season six or seven or something right now. But other than that, I go through them really fast. But, okay, so I am catching up on Walking Dead. Catching up meaning if I was in North Carolina and watching the series, I would be perfectly content with my TiVo and I would be watching it and there would be no not watching it. But since there was hiccups and deleting a a community TiVo DVR thing. I am catching up on it now because I didn't want to skip ahead and I don't know, I'm very serious about my certain shows. There's only a few of them. Okay, so my first thing that freaking bothers me so badly, so badly, is when people take a shot or drink of hard alcohol, I'm not talking like, I don't know, like raspberry vodka or anything, but like whiskey or, well, I guess you kind of sip whiskey, but you know what I'm saying? And especially people like girls, it's mainly girls that are like stereotyped as not really drinking that kind of drink and like not really drinking that much. But not necessarily just saying like a girl, I'm just saying someone that doesn't normally drink like a ton of it or you're very used to it or sippy sippy, whatever. Alcohol tastes disgusting and it actually burns your mouth and your throat and your stomach. It's not pleasant. And I've seen people that have, that are alcoholics that will have a shot and still grimace. Just give me a grimace. Just give me a grimace, something, not, oh, that was tough, oh, that was hard, oh, that tasted nasty. No, if you're going to do a shot, act like you're freaking doing a shot, and like, bleh, or like, bleh, 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 bleh. I mean, obviously not that dramatic, but have some sort of thing going on in this region that you're supposed to be acting with. This is your instrument use it so that is my one of my weirdest <laughs> pet peeves about movies or tv shows or anything of the like and it freaking drives me nuts i want to strangle people i'm thinking what director and what editor did not look at this and go why you need to give me more Okay, so the other thing is, and I get this from my dad because it really bothers my dad, uh, but uh, <laughs> when shooting a gun, which I have, which I'm sure you're shocked about, but I am actually from central Pennsylvania and we shot guns a lot. And I've actually, I was really good at shooting bow and arrow. So fun fact for you there. Um, I keep telling you guys everything about myself. I want to do the TMI tag, but I keep telling you guys everything so I can never come up with things uh, for that. So, okay. So when you're shooting a gun, I haven't shot a gun in so long. And this legitimately, I've only, sh I've only shot an actual pistol once in my life. We always shot with rifles and everything. So anyways, so when you're holding the gun... So this is my gun. You, okay, so let's just do a little demonstration while we're at it. Okay, so you have the gun. You line it up. Pew, 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 pew. These are realistic sound effects, just so you know. Pew, 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 pew. 
too. Okay, so, okay. If you did nothing with the gun and just held it there, I would not rage. I would not rage. But when you go like this to shoot the gun, I will rage on you. Nobody does that. And if you did, you would not shoot a damn thing. I guarantee it. Not a thing. So, okay. <laughs> Let me do this in a better demonstration. Okay, you have your gun. You can either, you have two options. You can kick back. You can kick back. You can kind of like kick back and kick back to the position. Hold it as is. Say if you have like a Tommy gun or something, like brace it. It'll probably hit you a little bit. Just move a little bit. But this is not an option. <laughs> Because you have to be holding the gun and aiming it. And then it'll kick back like this over your shoulder. A gun going like this, shooting forward, you're not going to hit anything. Zombie apocalypse. You survivor folk, you're welcome. Don't do that. Don't do it. I will get so ragey on you. No. <sighs> so glad I got that off my chest. But seriously. Because <sighs> I think people might go out to the gun range and think that they like actually have to do that. And I'm like embarrassed for them. Like no. 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 I'm trying to think of some of my horror movies one. Horror movie ones. Because a lot of people ask me because... If you don't know this about me, I am a horror fanatic. I was talking to my family the other day, um, my family by choice, uh, about, um, they were like, well, what movie do you want to watch? And I was like, well, we could watch a horror movie, we could watch a thriller, we could watch a suspense, we could watch a new horror movie, or an old horror movie, or we could watch, and I went through like different genres of horror movies, like slashers, we could watch crime show, suspense, zombie, new zombie, old zombie. So they're my favorite movies, but a lot of times people ask me like, how can you stand watching them? And it's because I literally don't care. Like I don't. Like you know those times where they're like, why did you drop your gun? Like, just take it with you. You could use it to, like, bash someone over the head. Why just drop it in its place? And that's, those are, if you, are you gonna, if you're going to think like that, you're not, you don't, no. You should stay with your rom-coms and your comedies and your non-horror movies. Because that's what makes them brilliant. Because if they had a gun with them of any kind or weapon... It wouldn't be as scary. And when they drop them, that's what creates the suspense. Like, oh my gosh, what are they gonna do with like a serial killer with their bare fists? Um, so, but there are little things that do irritate me, but they're not like normal things, like the above mentioned things, like when I talked about someone shooting a gun and doing it forward like this, instead of kicking back and not grimacing when you take a shot of I don't know, moonshine? That's what I just saw in Walking Dead. Little girl, never taken a shot before, takes it like this, kicks it back, says, this is the most disgusting out, this is the most disgusting thing I've ever tasted. Nothing. Nada. Have you ever tasted moonshine? I grew up in Pennsylvania. I have tasted it. And I was considered myself a pro drinker at that time and would be embarrassed to grimace yet you have a no ability not to grimace um mm. although i don't know if anyone actually really cares if i put this much thought into horror movies i personally do so don't say that to me but uh no i get really into my shows and they become my obsessions um just because it's fun i like to get into them and be scared and surprised and see what they do and figure them out. I like to figure everything out. Anything. But 
leave in the comments down below what you like and maybe I'll talk about it or and or watch it. So you asked me a question about um, how I feel about relationships and dating or I'm guessing you want me to get into it like being married or am I dating someone do what do I feel about that and all that and I actually have recorded a video like that before but for some reason I didn't think you guys would think it was interesting see this is why I need feedback from the people people because now I'm finding that you guys ask me quite often about it and then it's one of those things that's like really a lot longer than just a couple sentences of me being like yeah, I'm all for it, or I think it's horrible, you know? It's like a process and where I've come to come to my decisions and um, what I am willing to share and not share, and which is, you know, you guys know me. I mean, I pretty much share everything. So I would love to answer that question. I try to answer you guys' questions as much as possible. Um, I love you guys, and I'm hoping you guys are having a pink through stress-free day. And as always, I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, I'm just into Frozen. Do you want to build a snowman? Doesn't have to be a snowman. Okay, bye.